Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 18th. Keep in mind that this reading is timeless, and this is also for the new moon. So it's for the new moon, the 18th into the 19th. So we're going to get an extra card for an overall energy. So you could call this a new moon reading. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for the new moon? What energy is that bringing in for us? What energy? Ace of Wands. Well, I don't think it could be any better than that. That is starting from scratch by the looks of things. We get a clean slate right there. It's a blank canvas. This is an exciting opportunity. It's an, an exciting opportunity to start fresh. Okay? So that is what this new moon is bringing in. It's giving us that blank canvas to paint whatever picture we want. This is exciting, okay? It is. It's an exciting opportunity. What do you want? Paint that picture. Create it. You have the opportunity at this time to create whatever you want. So this is a new beginning. This is a new beginning. What do you desire? What do you desire? It's up to you. The paintbrush is in your hands. You get to choose. It's your choice. So what do we have for the new moon right around the 18th, 19th of August? Keep in mind the timing is fluid. New moon energies, that's a time of uh, manifestation, right? Setting intentions. Put it down on paper. What do you want? Now is the time to create. Nine of Wands. Well, Ace of Swords. Six of Swords reversed. Now, the Six of Swords reversed is somebody that's reluctant to take a new approach. Somebody that is in a troubled situation, they're reluctant. They are staying there. It's rocky, it's turbulent, it's tough. The Ace of Swords is, is acceptance, it's realization, it's a wake-up call. It's the truth, it's accepting the truth. The Nine of Wands is hard work, it's perseverance. We have somebody here that has been through some sort of battle. Okay? It's, it is, it's tough, it's a very tough position. So we have somebody here that has been... Uh, beaten down. This person has been beaten down. Uh, they're expecting trouble. They're ready to fight at a moment's notice. Very, very weary. You know, if you think about the nine of, well, nine of Wands, the next card is the Ten of Wands, which is a completion. It's an ending. Tens are completions. Trying to do too much. So we have somebody here that has fought a good fight. Okay, they fought and they fought and they fought. For, they fought a long time. They've probably fought many, many, many times. They have a lot of victories behind them. And now it's like they've reached the point where they're exhausted. So we have somebody here that is, is getting sick of it. Really getting sick of fighting. This person is very strong. Has gained a lot of strength through their previous battles. So this is a warrior. This person is wounded though. About to give up. Definitely growing weary. This is, this is a bit much. This is the sort of power, it's the sort of truth, and the sort of acceptance. So somebody has to um, be honest with themselves. Is it, is it worth staying in, in a troubled situation? Because this is truth. Uh, truth is honesty. You know? How long can you keep doing this? So we definitely have an individual that is in a situation where there's a lot of turbulence. You know? It's just, it's rocky. It's, it's, it's troubled. You know, and there's a better place if you could see things more clearly. This is a moment of clarity. So somebody may be receiving a moment of clarity or they're receiving some sort of messages, but you need to accept them. So somebody may be, you know, 
ignoring the messages that they're receiving because, you know, they just, I don't know, they, they're fearful. They could be fearful of, of uh, going to another place. Justice reversed. Now, some justice reversed is uh, there could be some legal flaws or there's an injustice. There could be some bad karma here. There could be some consequences. Um, something not turning out the way that you had hoped. There's a lack of integrity. There's indecisiveness. There's an imbalance. This isn't fair. We may have somebody that is lying. They're definite. Well, this is lies. Justice reversed. There's lies. And somebody could be being dishonest with themselves, you know. But justice reversed is bad karma. It is bad karma. And this is truth coming out. So, hmm. The chariot reversed. And the chariot reversed is uh, giving up. And this person looks very weary. So somebody may be giving up, you know, mentally. Okay, this could be scattered emotions all over the place, lack of control, lack of discipline. This person looks angry as well. So we could, and this is anger. So somebody may be angry. They may get angry. They can't control their emotions. And and if they can't control their emotions, they could, there could be a disaster ahead. This, the, this is a disaster ahead that leads to uh, legalities. Okay, this this is legality. Somebody may have a victim mentality as well. You know, why has life treated me this way? And they're angry, angry with the world, angry with life, you know, and that therefore they're doing things that they could be doing things that are against the law or something like that. I mean, I'm just saying the chariot reversed is uh, lack of direction. Okay, it's a disaster. It's an emotional outburst. It's out of control. So somebody could be losing control they're, 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 and it's because they're so wounded. There's, there's, there's wounds here. And you know, when people get wounded, they tend to react out of anger. So somebody may be reacting out of anger and, uh, they do something that maybe it's even something against the law. I'm just saying, I don't know. We'll find out. Um, but let's see, what is this six of swords reverse? That's not. Uh, going to the better place, refusing to see another uh, avenue, refusing to explore other possibilities, um, going down as well. This is this is going in the wrong direction. Queen of Wands reversed. So we could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, a Sagittarius. Now the Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody that, and it could be any sign. Okay, it could be any sign at all. This person is lacking ambition. They may be depressed. They may be, uh, they may be lacking self confidence or self esteem. We could have somebody that has a poor image problem. Definitely angry. Okay, the Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody that is angry, and this person is is fit, probably forceful. They may be feeling like they are. Uh, their ego may be hurt, okay? The Queen of Wands in reverse. When they don't win, they they take it very hard. This person likes to win. And when they don't win, they take it very hard because this person is very determined and very proud. So I think somebody's pride may be hurt and they may react out of anger. Um, reluctant to see anything other than... This is somebody that is self-righteous. This is a know-it-all in reverse. And it's any sign, okay? This is an energy. So this is a person that, you know, you can't reason with. Unreasonable. I'm not going to... I'm staying right where I'm at. I'm not going to budge. You know, so this person may be getting some sort of karma because they, they are refusing to take a new approach. Now, like I said, it could be any sign. Now, this is a this is a dead stop. The chariot reverse, something coming to a dead stop, could be a dead end. There's opposition here, and somebody is fighting. This is fighting the opposition. Emperor reverse. There's lot, there's definitely control issues here. We have somebody here that is clinging to control. They they this. We ha and they're acting out of anger. So somebody's going to be reacting out of anger.
okay? This is like an angry outburst. It's, this is somebody that isn't very experienced, that is probably mean-spirited. Um, they may be feeling like, like they failed and they have to prove themselves in some way. Um, the Emperor Reverse is somebody that doesn't want to take responsibility. They're not interested in helping. This is somebody that is could be definitely a criminal next to the Justice Reversed. Okay, so I think there could be some criminal activity that is coming up. I just, I, I mean, I got to be honest with you. Um, this is about being in control. So we have somebody here that doesn't like to lose control. And I feel like they are, this is, a, this is a disaster. It's an emotional outburst. This is, this person is acting out of anger because they've been wounded. They've been wounded very badly and they've, they're just to the point where they're ready to fight. And they are at, this person is ready to pounce by the looks of things. If you come near me or, you know, I don't know what is going on, but this person looks as though they are ready to, uh, hurt somebody. Take a look at the fist. So, um, you can't master emotions at all. Okay, you cannot. So, and there, it feels like they're gonna do something that is unjustified. They may feel like they were treated unfairly. You know. This is an injustice. This is somebody that is not happy with an outcome. Period. They may be placing blame. They're placing. They're blaming somebody for their own actions. Don't want to take responsibility. So it feels like we're. You know, I think we could be dealing. It feels like. I mean, we have Cancer. We have Libra. We have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have Aries again. We have Leo again. Um, so. Um, now, the sun card is about happiness. It's, it's a new day. It's a new beginning. It's a breakthrough. It's enlightenment. Some, and this is an awakening. So somebody is going to... Uh, and this is a birth of something new. And this is a new idea. Somebody is going to get an idea. I don't feel like it's a good one, though. Even though this is, this is a card of happiness. This is a bright idea. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, the sun is bright and this is an idea. So somebody's going to get some bright idea, right? You know, they're so smart. At least they think they are, right? This is, this is, the, I feel like we have a know-it-all here. This is a bright idea. So. But this is a card of enlightenment and this one is too. So somebody's going to get enlightened. Maybe the hard way. But this is a card of, of happiness, but reluctant to take a new approach. Hmm. Knight of Cups reversed. Woo. The Knight of Cups reversed is deception. This is a fraudster, a schemer, somebody that is very crafty, somebody that is very cunning, somebody that is manipulative. This is somebody that is calculating. Okay, this is, it could be a stalker. This is somebody that is emotionally unreliable, that is unpredictable. This person may have uh, addictions, you know, with drugs or alcohol. This individual likes to, is a fake. They like to sugarcoat situations. Can't handle stress. We have an individual that's going to get that is emotionally unbal emotionally unbalanced, that is going to uh, do so. They're going to get some sort of bright idea, and it is deceptive. It is it is deception. It is. It's like vengeance. This is vengeful action, as far as I'm concerned. Um, <laughs> Page of Cups reversed. That I mean, page, not page. Knight. Um, the lovers. The lovers is an unexpected choice. This is a choice. It's an unexpected choice. This is a new beginning. 
This could be jealousy. There's something going on here. Reluctant to take a new approach. We may have an individual here that is not interested because this is soul ownership, being alone. This person may lack self-esteem, lack self-confidence. They may, you know, I'm going to change the story here for a second. Now that this card is here, and this happens a lot, this is an individual that has a poor self-image. It may feel like they're not good enough. Maybe getting, maybe getting an unexpected opportunity. This is unexpected. This is, this is definitely all of a sudden, because this is all of a sudden. It is. And this is a new day. It's a new breakthrough. This is a new life. This is uh, after, but maybe, in, maybe there's, they've been treated unfairly and they're expecting trouble and they get this new opportunity and they don't dare to take it because this is fear. This is fear. They may have been abused by somebody in the past, which made them so fearful and they're giving up. They may be giving up on love, giving up on love. Yes. There is a new opportunity here. There is with this with the with the sun card and the lovers card. This is an unexpected opportunity for love. And maybe somebody's just not seeing it. But we could have a breakthrough because the sun is a breakthrough. You know, like when the sun breaks through the clouds. So somebody may be going through a cloudy moment, they're, they're hateful, they're angry, and then the sun just shines through and they, they change their thoughts. I mean, let's hope that's the case. This is not wanting a relationship, not wanting, not looking for love. You know, it is. And maybe this is about having trust. There is definitely a new opportunity here. But somebody's been treated so unfairly in the past, and that's why they're so angry and fearful, ready for to pounce, ready to attack at any moment because of wh whoever abused them in the past. There's been abuse. This amber in reverse is abuse. And maybe, you know, they stop everybody in their tracks because of fear. Because this chariot reverse is fear. But anyway, and this is reluctant to take a new approach. Reluctant to, to let anybody in, perhaps. Uh, you know, this lovers is very unexpected. Okay, this is a, a love connection. A new contract. It's a healing love. You know, with somebody that you can be be yourself with we definitely have a new beginning here with the ace of wands the sun card and the ace of swords we have a new beginning here but i think there's a lot of fear there is a lot of fear maybe it's somebody uh, dealt with a criminal in the past they dealt with a criminal who treated them unfairly, that treated them undressed. This or this person, you know. Brought on all this fear by the looks of things. This was a narcissist. Somebody dealt this is a narcissist, a tyrant. Somebody dealt with a tyrant. And it's there's been an injustice, there's been a lack of integrity. But there is a something new coming in here. But it's like I don't want a relationship. You know, I don't want it. It's like you're not even looking. This is not looking. You're not looking for it. Somebody's not looking for it. And here it is. This is not looking for a relationship, but this is here it is. But reluctant, definitely reluctant to get involved. And it is because of fear. So this is a new sexual partner. And this one is too. So somebody may get a new opportunity to start a new life with somebody that they didn't even, they weren't even looking for this part. They weren't even looking. And then now they have to make a choice. But there's no desire. There's no desire. There's no drive. There's no ambition. There's lack of self-confidence. There's lack of self-worth. Because when you're dealing with a narcissist, they steal all of that from you.
every ounce of self-esteem and self-confidence and self-worth that you had. And that's what makes you stronger. It does make you weary, but it gives you life experience. So anyhow, ah, this is, is kind of scary. Um, the chariot, and it is kind of scary. The chariot reversed is scary. Okay, that's no faith. I don't have any faith. I'm, I'm ready for trouble at any moment. So, you know, because of this person that abused them. So that's the truth. And that is the freaking truth. So, I do believe there is somebody coming in. That lover's card is unexpected choice in love that could make you very, very happy if you could open your heart and uh, give it a chance. But the Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody that lacks confidence. And she may be angry. She may be angry with what has happened to her. And I, yeah, that's normal. This is like a surprise. It is a surprise. So I don't know who's that for, but... Good luck. That Nine of Wands is is, is, is is an individual that is very guarded. This person is very, very, very guarded. And it's because they've been treated so unfairly and lied to in the past. It's like they don't want to uh, go anywhere. It's like, I don't want to go anywhere with anybody because I don't trust you. But this is a need to trust. Anyhow. Whoever they dealt with in the past was probably a womanizer or, you know, if you are a man watching this, you probably may have dealt with a woman who was very promiscuous. Anyway, whoever this person is that is coming in is a kindred spirit and they don't care what you look like. It's not about the looks here. It's not. It's about the connection. So there is going to be a connection. It comes in all of a sudden. It does come in. This is a sudden opportunity. It is. It's a new opportunity for happiness. But... This is a bright idea, so that's interesting. What is this bright idea? Star, wish fulfillment, wish granted, prayers heard, prayers answered. This is a this is a guided, this is guided, uh, divine, guided from above. Somebody is going to be guided towards this connection. This is this is like your fairy godmother granting a wish. This is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. Somebody has maybe this the, you know, they're definitely very weary because they've been so wounded, but now there's there's healing. There's a healing love coming in. This is a healing love connection. Will there be harmony? This is unexpected help and this is an unexpected choice in love. You weren't even looking for a relationship. The Knight of Cups Reverse is not looking. I'm not looking for it. Or if you're, you know, I hate to say this, maybe, you know, whatever. I'm not going to say it. But if uh, this is an unexpected uh, perfect match that enters your life, you're at the right place at the right time and Cupid or uh, your fairy godmother brings you together with this person and it's, 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 Makes you extremely happy, put it that way. This is a gift. It is a blessing. But this is reluctant to do it. The Six of Swords reverse. I No, I'm, I, I'm troubled. <laughs> you know, it is. I'm troubled. I don't, you know, this is fear as well. The Queen of Wands reversed. I'm not good enough. So somebody may feel like they're not good enough. 
This is no desire. No desire for it. Here it comes. Queen of Cups reversed. Queen of Cups reversed is heartbroken. Deep sadness. So yeah, we have somebody here that just feels, you know, like they're not good enough. But they have somebody coming in that is very, that has good intentions, that is a lover, that cares, that knows how to love. This is somebody that is given to love. You know, this person will love, she knows how to love, will express their love, will help to heal. This person has a big heart and is looking for love. It feels like this person is just, they're sitting from afar. It feels like they're sitting somewhere. Maybe they're sitting on a bench or they're sitting on in their seat or wherever. And they see somebody from across the way. That's what it looks like to me. That's what I think it is. I feel like they see somebody and they see this person and they're like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go talk to that person or something like that. You know what I mean? It feels like they see them and this is communicate. They decide, they do. They're going to communicate. Somebody, they see, they see them from afar. They're sitting, and maybe they're sitting by a wall of some sort or they're sitting on a bench or something like that. And they come up and they make some sort of small talk. But this person that they walk up to or that they come up to is uh, not totally not expecting it. This is a soulmate connection. I believe it is a soulmate connection. It's a blessing. This is a gift, truly. It is a blessing. It is blessing, blessing. This is a wish being granted. So yeah, I think that there is, uh, be, expect to be talking with somebody that you may have a soulmate connection with, but it comes after, you know, opening yourself up. But it's like, I don't, I don't think there's a lot, there's definitely a lot of fear here. There's a lot of fear, a lot. And there's anger, there's anger. There's anger over how, they, somebody was, I was treated in the past, you know, that kind of thing. I'm very, very angry. And I think that anger is hindering somebody's ability to be in a successful relationship. But it's like the, the star is guidance. Maybe somebody that has passed away is guiding you towards the perfect match. But you have to be open instead of reluctant. So my advice is to be open. Be open. This is a bright opportunity. To heal. Good luck.